Hey guys, what's up? Toba Loco here. Welcome back to the 2010 FIFA World Cup South Africa qualifying runs and series. This time we're back in Europe. This time we're going to be doing Albania. I've seen a lot of people in the comments say, hey, can you do Albania? And I was like, yeah, I fancy a change. I want to go back to Europe and we're going to do a run with Albania. So these are the groups that we have got, but these are the actual 2010 qualifying groups for the actual tournament. We don't want to do that. We want to randomize it. So in three, two, one, boom. And we are in a group with Serbia, Sweden, Iceland, Georgia and Belgium. So a decent little group. You know, we haven't got anybody massive in there. But the Serbia match is definitely one that I'm looking forward to. Albanians and Serbs. I mean, depending on where you fall, um, they either hate each other or they like each other. <laughs> it's, it's really weird. Sometimes they like each other and sometimes they don't. It's I, re I reckon it's... In general, they don't like each other. All right, and before we play our first match against Georgia, I just want to remind you guys that it's on legendary difficulty. It is the best way to play these qualifying runs because it's the best difficulty to play on. Kicking off our qualifying campaign is against Georgia. We don't really get to play against Georgia too often. So this will be an interesting start to the qualifying campaign for Albania. I seem to remember Albania being pretty decent last time I played with them. A load of people always ask for Albania on this channel. So I was just like, yeah, give them a qualifying series then they can watch it over and over again if you want to. Up to Bogdani, here we go. Can he do anything here? He's a bit strong, isn't he? Look at this. And saved by the Georgian keeper, Skeller to whip it in. And I don't know what happened there, but we just scored and it's 1-0 thanks to Bogdani. And I can't believe that went all the way through and bounced towards Bogdani. He just took it and struck it in. He was like, okay, if nobody's going to get this, I'll have it and I'll smash it into the top corner. Out to Joro. Joro is running. Getting in behind quite nicely here against Georgia. Could be... Another one, it is. It went through the defender's legs and we tap it in and the captain has scored. That is Skeller with a goal. 23 minutes in, we're already 2-0 up. And I didn't expect it to go through the defender's legs like this. Passed in here and I guess he committed to it too soon and we're just able to score the easy tap in. I mean, Georgia are the same rating as Albania, so it could have gone either way this match and it still can. Over the top here and we get it through ball and already Bogdani's going through. This is ridiculous. How are we just pressing Georgia this early on and we scored again? 3-0 in the first 30 minutes of the game. Bogdani and Albania having an outrageous start to this World Cup qualifying campaign. 3-0. Georgia didn't even pick us up. They just let us go through and yeah, it's just too easy at the moment. They got it. They cross it in. It might, might be. Yeah, it is. It's 3-1. What an eventful first half. Eventually, however you say it, or eventually, he has scored to make it 3-1. So it's definitely not over for Georgia. Getting a goal before halftime is important, but they still need two more. Halftime, 3-1. What a start by Albania. And what a game between these two. 3-1 already before halftime. No real chances for Georgia yet. Albania have had a few chances, but the game has kind of died down a little bit now as we go into the 70th minute. Georgia have got it though, and they put it wide. That could have been 3-2. And that's going to be it. Full time, we just beat in Georgia 3-1. Very convincing performance from Albania in the first game but they are the same rating as us so we'll have to see what it's like to play the other teams in the group our second match is against Iceland but we're at home for this one hopefully this will be another win we have used Iceland in the past and I didn't think that Iceland were particularly that brilliant on this game but with the AI controlling them who knows they might be absolutely beast on this over the top, oh what a ball that was, but it's offside unfortunately. First half hasn't really started off the way that I've wanted it to. So being a bit flat, we haven't really been able to get forward enough. Danny, has he got the strength? I think he has. Like very early in the qualifying campaign, we're just shrugging away some of these sides. I don't know what the Icelandic goalkeeper was doing there. Trying to make himself look big when it was rolling along the floor. Corner to Albania just before half time. Skeller to cross us in. 
Nobody is there to get it. And it's going to go to half time with the score at nil nil. Very hard fought battle between these two sides. Not a lot in it. We haven't had that many chances, but we have been slightly better than Iceland, I would say. Cross that in. Again, nobody was there. Trying to get it. I'm trying to shoot, but it won't let me. I don't know what the Icelandic goalkeeper was doing there, though. And it's 1-0. 1-0. I think it was a bit of a defensive error. And Lala scores to make it 1-0. What was happening here? Nobody can control it. And, yeah, that's what happened, I guess. Very lucky Lala was in that position to shoot and score. Crossed in by Albania. Header, and that's gone in. That has gone in over the top of the defender and Skeller has scored to make it 2-0 now. Albania had taken control of this game. Great cross into the box over the top there and we headed it in. Here come Iceland on the counter-attack. Nothing doing though. It's gone straight back out to me here. Not offside because it bounced off the other Icelandic player. Crossed in and yes, we scored. Nice one. And that's Bogdani again with the goal. He's been so good in these two matches that we played. What a header that was as well because the angle was completely against him. And we have made it 3-0 against Iceland. Two games where we scored three goals. Crossed in by Iceland and it's just cut out. They really haven't had that many chances in this match. Albania have been so good defensively and attacking as well. Seem to be the perfect mix of defence and attack so far. And the game ends. It's 3-0 to Albania. And we've got six points on the board already in the first two games. But we do have to still play Serbia and Sweden and Belgium. Arguably the better teams in the group. So we'll see what happens when we play them. Our next match in this qualifying group is against Sweden. Probably the toughest test we can have apart from Serbia as well, being that's a rivalry. But we've got to watch out for Ibra and Elm and Almanda as well. They could easily beat us. Here we go. And that's slide tackled away for a corner already. We've got a chance to try and score here. Skella to whip it in. Header and caught. Crossed in. Headed away. Clear it away here. Bogdani's got a chance to run through. If he's strong enough, he is. You know he is. He's got that build. Come on. Come on. Oh, good save. Good tackle by Albania. We've hustled Sweden. But they are still going to be dangerous. And they're good defensively as well. they got that bold defender that I hate playing against. But here comes Bogdani. And I couldn't quite get it. It's going to be a corner to Albania. What can we do here? Kana is going to whip it in. Kana, get a goal. <laughs> I mean, that was a really bad pun. Here comes Ibra. Crosses it in, headed away. It's just been the story this half. It's been a lot of ball movement, but not a lot of end product, really. We had one of the best chances of the game, but unfortunately, we couldn't take it. It still remains nil-nil. Through ball. We got it here. We just push him to the floor. And that is going to be a corner. No penalty. It's a good through ball. But Albania yet again are going to clear this. They've been really good defensively in this match. Against a side like Sweden. They can be proud that they're still at 0-0. And frustrating Sweden as well. Ibra's pushing his way through. And he puts it wide again. That's twice he's done that in this game. Will it be third time lucky if he does it? Again, you know, going for on goal. And we just got injured by that defender, Mastrovic. He's been pretty good this match, but so have our defence as well. So, yeah. Oh, Bogdani. Keep going, dude. Oh, what's that? Yes! Come on! Come on! Yes! That's a great goal. A bit lucky, but Skeller scores in the 90th minute to make it 1-0 and surely win the game for Albania. And that was all Bogdani that was. Shrugging off those defenders because he's too powerful. The mistake there by the goalkeeper and defender. It was a good save initially, but the defender got caught in between the goalkeeper. And then we smash it in from the little flick that... Came off the goalkeeper. 1-0 to Albania. This is a huge result. This might put us top of the group now. 
unless Sweden have something up their sleeve in the last minute of the game. Oh, that was really poor. What did the, why was that pass a thing? Why was that pass a thing? I tried to clear it. I literally pressed the X button and he did that. What was that? Albania completely throw the game away just like Sweden did. Look at this awful pass here. I pressed the X button to try and clear it and it went straight to Berg and he just taps it in. Well, it would have been a really good result. It still is, but it would have been a really much better result if we didn't have one of the worst clearances in the world by our centre-back. But Albania will still take this one, regardless of the mistake. Both teams made a mistake in that match, to be honest, and come away with a point each. Our fourth match of this qualifying group is against Belgium. The stadium looks super empty, doesn't it, in certain places? Like, look in the corners. It's, like, really super empty. But if Albania can get a good result here, then we'll go joint top with Sweden. We missed the chance to do it in that last match. But this is the standing. Sweden top with 13. We have two games in hand though. And Belgium have already played a game in hand over us. So they're still three points behind us. But they could still beat us and go level with us. But yeah, we're lucky that we got the two games in hand. Go on, over the top here. Skeller's got it. Skeller, oh, off the bar. That would have been a great strike if that went in. Albania moving the ball around quite nicely. They got good ball movement, this team. And they can go forward and be dangerous as well. That's what I like about this team. Crossed in. And we got it somehow and we scored. What were Belgium doing there? A lot of mistakes in this gameplay. A lot of random like deflections and... Clearances that just can't be cleared and there it strikes again. Look, I think that was just like the fact that we just bumped into him as he was trying to control it and then we just smashed it in. Maybe was the reason why we got that goal. But yes, yeah, 1-0. Juro gets clipped but doesn't stop him. But the ball into the box wasn't a good one. And it's going to be half time with the score at 1-0 to Albania as Lernbets gets booked there. Been a very decent performance from Albania here, especially away from home. Can we keep it up and use our games in hand to an advantage? Hazard running through here. Tackled though, great tackle. Gave it straight back to him and he almost scored. Both teams can't really seem to get control of the ball for more than a few seconds. Belgium have it here, but most of the time it's just deflections and, you know, tackling and stuff like that. It's been one of those games. We're lucky to be leading and Belgium go for it. Caught by the Albanian keeper. Okay, Sweden have started to pull it back. What a game that is. A lot better than this game that we're playing right now. And that's going to be it. We came to Belgium and we got a result. It's 1-0. I mean, it was lucky. But we'll take it. Really, really good performance. And Albania have shown that they can go up against some of these bigger sides in this group. Obviously not like five-star teams, but still. I think Serbia are actually a four-and-a-half-star team on this game. So close to five-star. So hopefully we get to play them next and we get to see if we can beat them or not. Here we go then. The biggest match of this video is Albania versus Serbia. We are at home for this one, so we do have the home advantage. But if I lose against Serbia in this video, there's going to be a lot of angry Albanians, if there are any in the comments. And, you know, I have a few Serbian subscribers as well. I'm not sure where people stand with it in terms of Albania and Serbia. I see a lot of Albanians say they don't like Serbia, but then I also see a few Albanians that do like Serbia. Over the top here, great ball by Bogdani. Anybody in the box? There is. And yes, we scored. What a strike that was. And it is 1-0 already. And he celebrates in front of the Serbian fans. If that happened in real life, it'd kick off. It would. I reckon it would. <laughs> that, that's dangerous play there by Skeller. And that is 1-0. Dangerous celebrating there. He should have got booked for it. In real life, you would have. Albania done well in this match to hold Serbia. Serbia have gone forward a couple of times, but not actually shot properly yet. 
so yeah, testament to Albania's strong defence. Approaching half time, still done pretty well to hold Serbia here. They haven't had much going on for them. Albania have slowed down as well, but that's fine. I'd rather take it slow and not rush things. But we're going to go for the over the top here. And it's gone over the top and what a bad error. Skeller. And how did that stay out? It's half time. Albania leads Serbia one goal to nil. And it's looking good for the Albanians. They're very happy about it. And I'm really happy with this performance. If we keep this up, that means that in qualifying so far, we would be unbeaten. They go through. That's going to be... I was about to say, that's going to be a goal. It's a free header. But Serbia put it wide. Bogdani! Oh, it's just gone wide. Just to pass the post. Could have doubled our advantage. Through ball. Here we go. He's not offside, right? He's not! Yes! It's 2-0 and it's that man again. It's Skeller. He's doubled the advantage for Albania against Serbia. This means that it should be game over. We caught them there. Like, they push forward. And as they push forward, I did the through ball. And it was just so easy to get in behind. Albania have had the best start that we could possibly have in these four or five games that we played. And it is 2-0. 90th minute. Serbia have a throw in. They haven't done a lot in this match, to be honest with you. Only a few half chances, and there have been a couple of shots that have tested my goalkeeper, but nothing really to suggest that Serbia were going to win this match. And Albania have been just so good in this one, just wiped out there by Vidic. Of course he'd do that. And yeah, we can go into the halfway point in this qualifying series being pretty much unbeaten we just beat our rival Serbia what a start for Albania in this first video I think we could qualify okay so checking out the table then it's a bit of a mixture of games and stuff like that but Albania are currently top after five games played Sweden have already played seven and they've got the same amount of points as us so if we can get two wins in our games in hand over Sweden, we'll have 19 points if we can. Yeah, it's all to play for and I really hope that you guys enjoyed this first part. If you did, give it a like and subscribe. Tune in next time for the next part of Albania's qualifying series. Thank you for watching. Keep it local as always and I'll see you again for the next video.